Hello everybody, welcome to a tropical update. Here's the wide read Atlantic right now. Um, only one thing to watch here, and that's say area of disturbed weather. Um, just north of the island of Hispaniola, um, that has a low chance of formation here. Here's a look at it on uh, the five-day graphical outlook. You can see formation chance for the next 48 hours is a low 10% chance. Uh, and also the same thing for the next five days is also a low 10% uh, chance. Main thing I want to talk about in this update is uh, the other side of the world here in tropical cyclone O3A. Uh, there's also Invest 96A, which has a medium chance of formation. And there's also Invest 97B, which has a low chance of formation at this time, but it could potentially become our next name system for that part of the world. So just have to watch that quickly. But the main thing I really want to focus on here is, of course, uh, tropical cyclone O3A. Currently, the JTWC have it as a 50 knot uh, tropical storm. It's about 60 miles per hour, but I, I think honestly that they're, they're um, and I, I really don't like to, you know, insert my own personal opinions into these tropical updates here, but honestly, just looking at satellite imagery and uh, microwave data, this is easily very, very least the high end tropical storm we're talking about here, um, which is, of course, about 60 knots or 70 miles per hour, at least to me. At the very, very minimum, if you're being extremely conservative, um, I could see the argument being made for a really uh, high-grade tropical storm. Maybe even, like I said, a probably up to maybe a Category 1 equivalent cyclone here. Um, when I want to start your settlement as we hear. Here's the forecast cone. Um, it's forecast to make landfall um, over uh, Somalia in about 12 hours' time from now. Uh, Somalia, I believe that's how it's uh, pronounced. It could be wrong on that. If I am, please put that in the comment section below. But... Um, you can see it's forecast to make landfall pretty much in about 12 hours from now, give or take, maybe a little bit longer than that, um, depending on if it makes landfall in this little tiny part of land here, if it goes farther south or north. And here's satellite imagery of the storm right now. This is visible and a uh, little bit of uh, blue infrared there. And you can see a rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone there, classic rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone. And here's a look at, uh, closer look at infrared imagery here. And you can see, especially in those last few frames there, the eye is really trying to pop out there. Um, so I'm concerned um, as to what uh, this storm will eventually end up to here. Um, maximum potential uh, intensities for where the storm is currently at is roughly about 100 knots. It's about 115 miles per hour. But um, there have, of course, been cases where storms have exceeded uh, that value. Just take a look at, of course, Typhoon um, Ulysses. Um, or Vamco when it was near Vietnam, it did that. Not saying that's going to 100% happen with this particular scenario. That was, you know, kind of going to force the area near Vietnam. This is happening pretty much at a desert. Um, it's heading for a desert pretty much here. Um, so we'll see what happens of it. But if it um, is peaking right now, then uh, most certainly it is stronger than what it's uh, initially um, estimated to be right now, at least on the JTWC side of things uh, here. And again, on satellite imagery here, you're going to see a really classic textbook rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone here. Um, it is heading, like I said, straight for a desert here. So it's kind of, you know, hit or miss whether or not it's going to weaken before it makes landfall. Uh, most certainly, though, once it makes landfall, uh, when it ends up making landfall, it's probably going to rapidly fall apart. Uh, as it does so, because, of course, this is a desert part of the world here. So it's not like, you know, heading... Uh, and hitting, hitting Vietnam or hitting uh, any tropical part of um, the coastline. This is all desert is where this is going to end up making landfall. And so once it does make landfall, points can guarantee you that it's going to be rapidly weakening uh, once it does so, as is usually the case with systems uh, similar to this uh, that make landfall further north, like in Yemen or in Oman, around that part of the world sometimes occasionally. So basically what I'm saying here is this is a rapidly intensifying tropical cyclone Please take this seriously if you're in the path of it or if you're in the cone of it. Here's the cone again. Cone of uncertainty again. I really think they're underplaying the intensity at this point. I don't think it's a 50 knot or a 60 mile an hour tropical storm at this point. Um, regardless if it's a high end tropical storm or category one or maybe even category two tropical cyclone, um, still uh, doesn't set aside how serious the impacts could be from this storm. Um, this is part of the coastline. doesn't usually get storms of this magnitude very often here. So um, hopefully everybody's preparing for this. Um, they had very little warning, unfortunately, that this was going to occur. Um, so did I. I didn't really realize this storm was doing that till about now. It was really trying to get attacked together. Um, 
So if you know anybody in the cone of this, or if you are in the cone of this, um, and uh, Somalia, um, please, uh, please, please uh, take this cyclone seriously here. Um, regardless if it tries to weaken before landfall, or weakens immediately at landfall, um, just take this seriously. Again, this is a desert part of the world here, so, um, you know, uh, when it rains there, uh, rain has to go, the, the ra heavy rain and flooding has to go somewhere, and uh, unfortunately that has to go into buildings and foundations here uh, for the most part. Um, depending on where the, the, you know, maximum rain totals are. Um, so just please take this cyclone seriously. Again, cyclone O3, tropical cyclone O3A. Technically, it's a tropical storm at this point, but I personally think it's, a, it's a higher than that. Um, and could potentially get even higher than that if it tries to still continue intensifying here. Um, we'll have to see. But like I said, regardless of intensity, still a serious storm here. And I really hope everybody's taking this cyclone seriously. And again, that's going to be about it for this tropical update here. Nothing else to watch. Uh, for the most part, that's named. This is the only um, kind of tropical depression strength system or higher worldwide at this point right now. Um, so I just want to make a little quick update about that for anybody that happens to be watching from from this part of the world or knows anybody from this part of the world to give them a little bit of an advanced warning here um, for this cyclone. So please, um, if you have any questions or comments, leave down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you want to know the links and the websites that I used for this tropical update, they're also um, down in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. And uh, that's going to be about it for this tropical update here. So hope everybody has a great day or night, wherever you guys are. Stay safe, of course. Until then, see you guys on the next video. Peace.